Welcome to the Quilting Bee. How do I pick my quilting design? Well, on this quilt, I didn't. The fact that it is so eclectic and full of so many different things, I'm just winging it as I go. Uh, my inspiration very often is uh, if I have a finished block, if I have a finished nine piece, nine, uh, nine patch square, <laughs> too early in the morning, um, I'll quilt it, or I've been quilting that just in a traditional way. Um, I'm letting the, the, the quilt tell me what to do. So that's that. Uh, do I have many unfinished projects or am I more disciplined than the new Pink Sally this is from? And you only have one on the go at a time. I, I've had unfinished projects. I probably do. Uh, when I did my big Pressing 70 project, uh, I had my manifesto, things that I had to get rid of. And it, I got rid of a lot of unfinished projects at that time. The rule was, um, if I wanted to finish them, I had to finish them within the, the next month. Otherwise, they're out. But I kept the E chain cape, which I had been hanging on to, unfinished. It didn't have a lining. And I kept that for years. Finally, a friend took it and lined it for me. And that was a big blessing. Um, I learned a long time ago that I should really only do one thing at a time. Uh, I was trying to juggle everything, the harpsichord, the quilting, the videos, the land, whatever, uh, painting, pottery. Um, so I, uh, I had to commit to something and I could only do one thing at a time. That saved a lot of stress because I was never doing uh, uh, one thing at a time. When I was doing one thing, I was thinking about the other things that I that I wasn't doing. So uh, now I try to mainly just do one thing at a time. Um, Kath Morgan, you said you still have your grandmother's pans that she cooked the plum pudding in. Uh, I recently just got rid of uh, the steamer pans that I had uh, forever that my dad made the plum pudding in. Uh, I gave them to uh, one of my daughters who is really seriously into cooking. So trying to clear the decks here. Audrey and uh, Regina. Regina, Regina. Um, Audrey says, I admire your ability and strength with all that is going on right now. And Regina says, so happy and thankful you started blogging again. Vlogging, I've, I've always called it vlogging. Uh, video logging. I don't really blog. Um, actually, it's saving my life. Until I started this, the, the quilting bee and uh, and the preparation for the quilting bee, I was in pretty bad shape. Uh, I don't know, the COVID has, it affects everyone in a different way. It, I lost all creative energy. I wore the same clothes month after month only changing my underwear, no bra, <laughs> no makeup, uh, no care combing, because 
I'm still sheltering in place. I don't leave my house ever for any reason at all, and no one comes in. So groceries are left at the door. Uh, there's no reason, was no reason, for me to care about myself. That was the last thing on my mind. I, I did just a little a quilting, but lots of jigsaw puzzles. And I really just didn't want to, to do anything. And then when I started this, the quilting bee, well, I couldn't go online without a bra. Although, who knows? But psychologically, I had to wear something different every day. I had to comb my hair. And, and then you all helped me. Uh, your comments, um, uh, the, the likes, the views, uh, it, it woke me up and it got me out of that. So um, I'm very grateful to my online life and uh, the people uh, that helped get me out of this, uh, the slump I was in. I'm still sheltering in place, but it's not a bad thing. I wouldn't have it any other way. People that are traipsing around in the world aren't thinking. Thanks.